Ladies and gentlemen, step back from Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, I think they got something they want to say. I think they got something they want to say. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I think they got something they want to say. D.C. think they got something they want to say. Welcome back to another episode. Once again, I'm your host, Kirsten, and I have my co-host with me, the lovely Maxine, the Democratic wildcard. Hey, guys. And And hello, 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 hello. Everybody's favorite conservative in New York, Christopher Wright. And we are the Politics Podcast, and today we're on episode 14. Uh, Such a beautiful thing. Yeah, we can, thing. Get, we can get our first job. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what older. do you mean? Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, I missed a joke. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, how do we get a job? Yeah, so we're on episode 14. Good one, Chris. <laughs> um, thanks to everyone for listening um, to last week's episode. Um, we had Dr. Smichael on this on the uh, episode, and that went really well. So um, educational. He was, yeah. It really was. Like, I felt like... Like, I was just, like, a little nervous in the beginning when I was, like, talking to him. I was like, oh, my God, I hope no, he doesn't think I'm, like... No, intimidating at all. Yeah. No, I know. Afterwards, it's like, oh, he's yeah. so... You know those kind of people that sometimes you feel like they're so smart, you know? Because mm-hmm. that's something else. Okay, now we're jumping out of yeah. <laughs> the intro. But I just want to say, this was one of those things that that they talked about in the debate. Like, they feel like... Um, I think it was Tim Kaine. The one that Tim sa- Ryan, Tim Ryan, excuse me, Tim Kaine. I'm thinking of <laughs> no, not Tim Kaine. Uh, that's yeah. So he was saying that we are losing the um, the white, the blue collar crowd. Yeah, because the Democratic Party is becoming too Harvard elite, Elitist, you yeah. know, and that's how I see a lot of Democrats. And I do feel like that's the case. But what we're forgetting is Democrats have be- are educated like they by choice, like they're just they're going to college they're they're they have great jobs they create facebook they create twitter they create like all these things and this is this is but the natural are, progression but you guys are letting the ones majoring in human studies to control the vocal the voice of your party like these <laughs> are you letting the nut jobs the ones i'm going to art i'm majoring in art studies and uh, uh, you're letting that person be your voice you no, shouldn't yeah. do that you need to let just to educate it i'm a doctor yeah I'm but a if lawyer, they can't I'm, do it like you know not and i don't want to say dumb it down but just put it in layman's terms and you're gonna have a problem and that's the, that's the what, other thing you know too. yeah but don't you but don't you feel like as a as a former um, democrat as a former democrat that the democratic party is becoming way too not i don't want to say intellectual because that makes us sound like well what do we want no, no, like too far of, left it's too far left like, well no but outside of that but do you mm-hmm. feel like it's also it's not speaking to because this is yeah. what this is you said you the first person you voted for was john Kerry. john Kerry, and the problem with john Kerry was that he was so intellectual mm-hmm. that no one understood him yeah. it was just like i don't understand and then, he was, and then you had bush who like everyone wanted to have a beer with right, so it was right, just right. like exactly. uh, and, and then also so Kerry pushed away the, the he, when he disrespected the military and said he wasn't proud of his service. When oh, he threw his medal mm. on the, on the so it's like you got your. He you're at pushed, least went. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. But you, well, why are you pushing that crowd away now? You have that crowd. You have that vote, and you're like, I want to push that vote out. Mm, and you're that's like, true. why are you doing that? You're running that's for president. True. You want that? And, and they didn't even, like his wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> but, she was good. Uh, she was so into another intellect. She was also an heiress to the her ex husband was the um the Ke- the Heinz um Teresa oh, really? Heinz yes the oh, ke- wow. the ketchup. I remember yeah. that. Now you said that. Yeah. I when I was younger, when I voted, hearing about that. Yeah, and that was something else. Again, too elitist. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's the thing. That's the, too intellectual, though. You can't be too intellectual. But that's the problem. And why is that a problem for people to be because, smart? Because you got pe- Obama, you got people like no, the, the guy Obama you're talking. went to Harvard. I mean, yeah, he was able to connect. Yeah, it's but just about you know, connecting. but the difference is. Because Obama was, would connect to there's me. There's no, there's honestly the problem with why Democrats are having in trouble are, are are in trouble is because we don't have an Obama like figure. Yeah. We just don't. That's what Carl we have no and, charismatic. And, 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 who are the charismatic characters that can schmooze that are intellectual and, and, enough? And, and what Obama would or do? Clinton. Um, Obama, Obama was doing the NCAA bracket charts and everything, and, mm-hmm. and, yeah. and, and so he would do things where he's like he could be intellectual, yep. and then he could say you know crack a joke, and right. make People laugh at the same. Hang out with Jay. So, you know, so it's like so he it doesn't swag. matter who you are. Yes, yeah, swag. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be a middle class American, high school diploma, yep. and be like, "Yo, Obama's cool." Yeah, yeah. You know, and that yeah, and, and, and that's, that's true, what yeah. and I was that person. That's what I'm telling right. you. I know. I didn't go yeah. to all these, get all these degrees. I went to high school. Right. I was educated. I wasn't no dummy. I read. I read. I, I was self taught. Right. And right. so when it came to Obama, like he was speaking right to me, man. Mm-hmm. And 
that's what the Democratic Party is missing. They're getting the intellectuals just take control, mm-hmm. and they're like, you know, it's all about arts and just, you know, you know, all, uh, you know, it's just strictly like you guys are just going by the numbers, man. It's yeah. like, what about the regular everyday American? And you guys used to have that American yeah. vote way more than Republicans did, I know. and you guys are losing it, and it's. I agree, but um, let me continue this intro because we just got off and that was yeah. it. But it was an important topic. I don't know how we even got into that. I don't remember. Okay. That's how, that's how it goes. Do we got to eventually find somebody to rap on that intro, by the way, too. I like to <laughs> oh, you really want to? <laughs> I love it. I love that beat. Okay, you might have to do some. Oh. All right. Um, follow us on Politrix Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, Politrix Pod. Find us on YouTube. If you're listening to us on YouTube, hit subscribe. Um, hit like and leave us a comment. Um, you can also listen to us on Spotify, SoundCloud, Anchor, and Apple. Um, so you so you have a lot of ways to listen to us. Please continue to do so, and please continue to share with your pe- with your friends. Um, uh, I want to shout out quickly um, two new countries that are listening. We have New Zealand and Ooh, Singapore. That is so cool. Shout out wow, to New Zealand. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's so weird. I have to show you the analytics so you can see it. It's so many different. Like every time, I, every That's time good. I go, I see something, and then I sent you this um, last week. I sent you the person that. Um, reached out to us on SoundCloud that I, ne- I hadn't seen. It was like 20 days ago. And basically, they were saying like they listened, they binged listened, b- binge watched our, <laughs> love it. our um, podcast. And like they love it and they love like it's a safe place. Do you remember me saying yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought oh, that's so cool. Like, so keep sending us. If you got that, con- that suggestion, I really do want to look into it. Yeah, I didn't understand what it was, but I want to look, look into it because I'm you'll like do- the finance say, nerd. Space, hold on. Uh, go to the, I know I'll send it to you. I didn't send it to I'll send it to yeah, you. Too. It was just basically saying like some she there's like this it feels comfortable that yeah Mark right, and she said no to like you look are. Steve Grubbine or something to like get him on the show or whatever uh, yeah um, he's saying getting out of our bubbles and just being a safe space for all sides to be able to talk and share their opinion and, right. and what's her name cool. Her name, oh, shout out to Pauline Wong. Yes, Pauline Wong. Thank you. That's a that's oh, a modern zip. monetary theory. We're so looking into that. Yeah, we I don't really know what should. that means. It's awesome. But, but that's that seems it sounds like, digital. It, it says it's it's a it's a um it sounds, it's a key it to make quantum physics. both conservative <laughs> and pro- progressive economic <laughs> goals come together, which is something I truly believe in. I believe in this. What what is it? Well, I don't know what this. Yeah, is. Yeah, she said something about like I econ- have to. It's a way modern that liberals- monetary theory, but I believe there's an economic way where you don't gotta basically punish the rich, but you but the people who need support, the lower income, can get ahead. Can you know, and not in an abusive kind of manner. Right. Yeah, and I truly believe there's a healthy balance so this particular user yeah. and that's well, why we're that's the message we listener. need to be putting on the show if you yeah, yeah. so what she was so. saying is that it's a way that both steve grubbine i just looked really quick it's a way that he was saying something about how uh liberals and and conservatives can come together on an, an economic like level Goals, yeah. yeah economic we'll goals. look into that can it help well, no, so, we'll look so into we look into it, it and, and, we'll, and we're definitely open to bringing them on the show if we can if we can get speak, them yeah you know? yeah we'll definitely look into i'm, I'm def- we'll definitely yeah. reach out We'll re- we'll reach out. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. Inside yeah, joke. Yeah, okay. Inside joke, guys. So, um, let's. You guys ready to? Actually, how was your guys' week? Um, so my kids are going away um, for the whole summer oh. to their dad. He lives in the UK, okay. England. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with myself <laughs> for oh my seven God. weeks. Yeah. Seven weeks. Seven, seven weeks. Dude, Just you're gonna freedom. be like. I have some so travel, but like, be like, oh, where's my baby? I I do I do do that, but it's like it's I look forward to it because it's like ten months of being like single mom with no help mm-hmm. and like grinding. I'm literally the only one that does everything. I know. I can tell. Like I from can picking imagine. them up, like picking them up, taking them to school, all the chores in the house. Like I do everything. I don't yeah. have help. Your oldest doesn't do chores. She does, but oh, I mean okay. like the the main stuff, the big ones. She does things. she has like three main chores um that i have to constantly tell her to do but uh, <laughs> head head although my parental control app lately has been really lovely i just lock her phone and she stares at me and i'm like let's see how long it's gonna take her to figure out what you know what oh I wait so you oh i can just ooh, click wait. her oh you're girl you're girl girl, girl. i have a parental ooh. control app and with a click of a button it shuts her whole phone down oh mid- girl ooh. in the mom, middle of the mid that that's me that is so she mom. could be talking to her friend that's like <laughs> y'all the kids are getting out of control the kids that's are getting like out of the, control the, that's the same thing of like for us being a kid like that the level of that is like our parents getting on the phone like hey uh maxine uh you have to hang up you have to oh, hang up. The phone. Oh, oh my god oh, <laughs> and you're man. like Don't and you're on the back. phone with like a boy and you're like i gotta go so i love it she'll be in mid snapchat and i'll be like 
And she'll just look at me and I'll be like, I wonder how long it's going to take her. And then she'll be like, oh, yes. Oh. So so that's working. But Jeez, I'm going to miss my kids and I am looking forward to like suggestions on what I should do. We're going to go for drinks. Yeah, and I want to go to a museum. Dude, and- karaoke, are you going to go to the. Oh, you're, will you be here for like the Oxy? I think you won't be here for the Oxy. Stu- oh, I think you're going on vacation. You got to right? finish that off. You're just going to leave it to Oxy. I know. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's called Oxy Festival. Okay, Ox- gotcha. uh, Ozzy. 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 I said Oxy. <laughs> what in the world? What is on your mind? <laughs> so sorry. I meant the Ozzy Festival. Are you going to be here? What date? I think it's July 20. Let me look. Oh, I don't have any. Okay. I'm going to be in Bermuda for a little bit. So, But anyway, that's my... So I'm just planning and I'm excited. So. Oh, have a good time. Stay away from that triangle over there. Hey, <laughs> what's, happen- what's happening in like in like the Caribbean? It's like it seems like so much like drama. Like Dominican Republic's having uh, issues, yeah. then Bar- and then yeah. I heard Barbados. It's there like, was like it's like something in the air. Or something it seems like or someone or something happening to hmm, mm. conspiracy yeah. person in me. You know how I, <laughs> you know how I think someone's you know. trying to like stop tourism to these places. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's just so random that all of a sudden, like Dominic, I've been we've been I've been. Like Dominican Republic is a place that people have been going to for for years, and oh. it's like all of a sudden there's like these issues with like Cancun too, Cancun, Mexico. Cancun, what is going? Like, I, don't I, know. I just I don't believe that it's just mm. the I don't know. Build don't the know. wall, you know. Well, I'm going for vacation, <laughs> so that's not. <laughs> I don't need a wall for that. That's not gonna help oh, you out. No, because I can't. I'm going for vacation. Um, geez, oh, this wall. Man. So, how was your week, Chris? Uh, my week was good. I, I got a, a young gentleman, Chandler Crump, by the name. Shout out to Chandler Crump, by the way, at Chandler Crump. You know, on Twitter, <laughs> in case you didn't know. I don't know. Uh, he's uh, 15 now, probably. I met him when he was at YBLS, the Young Black Leadership Summit in D.C. And when I met him, he was 14 years old, and he got on stage and spoke for a little bit of time. Very sharp wow, intelligent young, young man oh yeah and spoke in front of a crowd man a good sized crowd he went up there spoke and knew what he was talking about mm-hmm. and i was just like after that i was like i got to get an interview with that kid so i spoke with him uh later on that evening i did a little interview with him for my youtube channel him and my boy anthony brian logan shot the abl mm-hmm. but uh yeah but i did an interview with them and he you know spoke very well a lot of people you know, gave him a lot of props, and then he kind of started getting out there more and doing his own videos. Mm. Now he has a YouTube channel that's like blowing up. Oh wow! And he just uh, tweeted me uh, this week, and he said, "Hey, Chris, I'm going to be in New York. You know, I want to lo- love to get together and do one of your infamous walking talks." So I was like, "Yeah, man, definitely, man. We're going to go. We'll do across the Brooklyn Bridge because I want to represent bridging the gap. Oh yeah, bridging oh, the gap look from at that. my generation to your generation. Because I'd always say Gen Z is the future. That's the conservative mm. future, by the way." Mm. Yeah, so I thought def- you were talking about another bridging. Well, we're bridging the gap here. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing that. Of you course. can bring yeah, him yeah. here if you uh, want to talk. Have yeah, him. yeah. Well, yeah. How def- old is he? He's. I said he's. Like, you know, time flies. When I met him, he was fourteen. But I was oh, like, why be all that? So he's probably fifteen. I now. would just love to hear why he's. Yeah. Why he wants to be a. I mean, sometimes it's just parents. I was gonna say he's kind of young. Yeah, for that we'll young, I, I'm for being so young. I'm assuming parents. Yeah. You know, but. Pretty cool, man. I was in, him is and his older brother's conservative too. Nineteen. Conserve it as well. Could so, be family then. Mikkel Crump. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah, shout out to Mikkel too, by the way. I always tell them, Gen Z, I tell them, y'all the future, man. Mm-hmm. And I always thought that doing. the I'm like, oh, the conservative party's going to die soon because all the older people are like, it's mm-hmm. everybody's liberal. And I'm like, oh no, they're creating these, they're yeah. like, gosh. <laughs> they're creating these little animals. Oh. Yeah, now the Gen Z, there is, mm-hmm. even though. You're, and they're the meme in age. They're the meme ones, man. They're the one creating, you know, making yeah. them yeah. making these little memes and everything. So I have to say, I, I mean, and sometimes I'll like stumble on your, your Instagram. <laughs> stumble across. Let me tell you, your memes sometimes are just so outrageous. <laughs> they're not even like believe. <laughs> Believable. It's like you can't even believe. Like it's almost like why is everything so? Why is something so like random? It's like they don't even make any sense. You know what I mean? You can't be in supporting a party that like I don't see like you know what you know what it didn't take me to some Instagram. Instagram to me is this. It's it is. I see that's like a photo album for meme than trolling it's like a trolling <laughs> mm. like that's where i go to be but like why a kid. troll why do you want to troll troll because it's you know, part of we do well part of me personally i do troll because i've been trolling since aol i mean since they had chat <laughs> rooms, candace I was candace owens she's trolling she trolled aoc a couple week, a week oh, ago a couple nice. weeks ago yes i'm proud of her she for like that. did like she what she did was she um, a, um aoc went on the went to the border oh, which yes. we're going to talk about today and she like was like I guess emotional whether it was staged or not people said it was oh, sh- staged. staged staged 
and um candace owens redid the photos of her like <laughs> putting her hand in her face and oh, like no. looking sad wearing the same wh- all white and just but see that but i mean i love what eoc why but do you why? guys have to troll like but i don't why? get what's the point I of that that's but what this is the but, but if there's right there, no what? point of that but that doesn't do anything but, 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 but if you represent new york why you what do you do like I, you know why huh? trolling you know what know what trolling gets it gets the people i just told you about the chandler crumbs mckells of the world because when AOC does some, some some that dumb, then you troll her and meme her, and you meme her to death in all these crazy ways. The little eight, you know, night, you know, twenty one and younger are going to be like laughing, geeking, watch on, on on their computers on their phones, and they're like, oh, I can do that too. I can make it to this and da da da. So now they're making memes, making fun of this person. So do you think when they get older, they're going to get older, get, like they that believe? Person? Yeah, but, but I don't want what, them to feel like. It, but a lot of these people see these memes and they believe some of this stuff. That's what There's happened. some people who are not as educated and and i have to say remember what we talked about earlier in the show democrats seem to be a little bit more elitist and go to harvard and get college education and then i hate to say it but a lot of republicans seem to be you know not as is that facts uh i mean i'm just it's not a fact but this is what i mean this has been since for the last 30 years they they've said i mean in the where the red let's look at red states i'm not Mm, i'm not trying to you know um mischaracterize anybody but you do see that democrats seem to be like just yeah but but that but i i mean i push back to in the sense that um during the 2016 election that bugged me like the memes were like people were sharing them and that was like knowledge it was like news and i'm like are y'all serious that's what i'm but saying I'm, no, no, that's no, no, why no, no, i get no, nervous but i'm saying even on the democratic side like you had okay. when it was bernie versus hillary you had all the anti-hillary oh, memes going right. across or like and the, the picture bernie, of hillary with 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 trump that was like the big the one hillary, at his wedding just, oh, and the yeah. bernie people would would share that across the board or vice versa you know hillary people against and i was just and like are y'all the, serious yeah, can we just true. get so all sides it, it's just the culture like he was saying this meme culture and it's very dangerous if you ask Okay, so you're right. But that's why you're right. You're right. You're right. No, so no, I can't no. just say that it's yeah, like a it's like it's a, a problem Republican. all around. It's on both sides. But I just find it to be a little bit more outrageous. Um, maybe it's just because I'm a I'm a Democrat, so I just feel. Well, I just learned how to share videos Democrat. on Instagram, well, so now I can have more videos of my memeing now. Well, so what? My, I just learned how to share videos on Instagram, showing what? my age a little this bit. This whole time? Yeah, that's all. That's why you see so many memes because I don't know. You how never to, knew you could you how to shoot. Video? I knew you could. I, studied, I know. I seen people doing this. I'm not like you analog. Just didn't know how, I just could have showed you all these oh my god I could, oh, but that you could do your walking you, talks on the now you could do you, you uh, never uh, even use your ig story you, you could oh, do yeah, all you your stuff you just gotta you put can me on some more ig ig IG. Yeah, I use IG strictly for trolling, pretty much. Like that's, well, like, you could do that's more. where I get my trolling. You could do more. They can, you can grow it just like you grow YouTube. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, I definitely not that we're trying to promote yeah. that. And you should post more pictures. <laughs> you should post. I'm not promoting of, that. I know, I know. But you should post more pictures of yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I so, so they do. can see you too. Like you. So it's not just the the memes. Just the memes. I, mean, I, I yeah. like it kind of like I kind of part, part of my character because when you see just the memes, they're like this has to be some fat sloppy right, right. and they see like, and then when oh, they pop me they're okay. like oh whoa, wait sometimes like sometimes I really laugh at Chris's memes. I know sometimes uh, yeah. even though they're like conservative and whatever yeah. some of them are so funny and they, they, but that's why I troll I don't see trolling as like I'm out to get you and hurt your like hurt yeah. your whole I want you to go home and like just cry in your bed all day mm-hmm. I, like I want well, you to laugh too easily offended, I want you to be like true. a leftist exactly and that's, true. Liberals, that's why I enjoy you guys because you don't get so easily off- offended mm-hmm. um, I want people to see them even if you don't agree or you're not in much but just to laugh you do that little quick little laugh. Mm-hmm. You're like, okay, sometimes oh, right, I, was... sometimes I want to comment. I have to say, like... some people that listen to our show, they hit me up and they say, I don't know how you talk to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, they do. I can't tell you I how many it. people that hit me up. And I'm like, really? He's not even that bad. He's like actually really... We sit and laugh. We We're like up. cracking up at it. Because honestly, here's the thing. People are taking these things way too serious but you know what we all have views and these are important topics that we're talking about but it's like you also have to be able to listen to other people you can't be so close-minded but do you you think that's our privilege me and you in the oh. sense that, because like privilege. I think some, Uh-oh. I'm gonna explain how. I think that don't you some dare of talk the, about privilege. No, <laughs> I think that no, seriously, I think that some of the people, especially like on the liberal side, mm-hmm. that get very triggered by conservatives, mm-hmm. it's because they feel directly t- attacked. They're part of a marginalized uh, a group that's dealing with a lot of you know oppression. Mm-hmm. And so, for example, if you're you know 
part of the LGBTQ community and there are actual policies that are going to harm you or they're calling, telling you that you're an abomination. How can you sit in a room and laugh with someone about that? No, but we but also just, were black women and we I'm also just, could feel, mar- we can also feel marginalized as well. Listen, this is the thing. Mm. We, You and I are both intelligent women who understand we understand we're, we we identify as Democrats, but mm-hmm. we also understand the problems with our party. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't believe in a lot of the Republican. We list there's some things that I can say that I do agree with that Republicans say. Like yeah. there's some things that I can say. Like I can I I can identify with some of their um, platforms. All, you know what? Because we're all adults at the we're end adults. of the day. Yeah. Some of us are more educated than other adults. Some of us, but we're all our voices have changed. We're growing up to our tallest height, mm-hmm. and we can sit down and speak. And actually I just, figure things out together. I don't know. I'm just try. wondering if we haven't maybe been directly um, in the line of fire. I told you, I stay in my bubble. I don't go to the but south. But I mean, I'm saying maybe if I lived in this, if I lived in like, if I had to move yeah. for some reason to Alabama, then maybe I would be like, Whoa, this is not funny. This anymore. is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, got real. Things oh got real. Things got real. This got really real. Like, wait, just they, there's no abortion though. No, not that that would affect me. I'm just kidding. Not that that affects me. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, these are like, wait. Wait, like I had on? to check myself when I was thinking about like how come we do get along so well with him? Like why are we okay? Because I think he's I'm a like, he's a, mean, he's a, mean, he's a pretending you? to be a conservative. Come on now, but no, but no, I say things that are a little. I could be brash, and I'm like my, my president does. You know what I mean? But I, what I. I grew up, look, I got a lesbian sister. I grew up in a oh, house wow. full of women. And, you look know, at all that. This. We never knew that. Oh, I didn't tell you. I know. Yeah, no. Yeah, so, so that's see, but that's, that's the, I, okay, I don't, and first of all, I'm, I'm not that's interesting. That for, yeah. And I don't use that to pander. Look at that. <laughs> 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 hit, hit. Well, you're not running for anything. Let's see when you start running. Let's see. Let's see how you are. Let's see how much you talk about that. You're going to be talking about that. Yeah, yes. My sister's going to be texting me like, stop using me for me. I don't want my business out there. I'm going to say I'm in New York City and Manhattan. Give me a break. You're going to be like Trump. Look at my African-American. Look at, look at my African dancing. You have your sister behind you. <laughs> look at everybody with a rainbow. Like, <laughs> I cannot. A big and this rainbow is, shirt I, and he has a shirt. I'm with gays. <laughs> All right, that okay, we're going too oh far. Gosh, okay, let's go before it sorry, gets out of like. Yeah, sorry, y'all. Oh my goodness, but no, but that's much. awesome. But yeah, but that's, that's why. Awesome. But, but so what I was saying with that whole point was, so when I say what I say, I do to an extent try to say I'm not here to go. I'm not trying to infit. Like to say something to hurt. LGBTQ community. Yeah, you never to do. really hurt women, to really hurt black people, to really, it, it, it's like it might sound like whoa, but I'm speaking on a topic still, mm-hmm. and I'm just saying it because it's raw on a topic. I'm mm-hmm. giving it to you, but I'm not saying like your whole community's jacked up. You as a gender <laughs> is jacked up. You all well, usually, you know, I, I, it's if I, that's why I do. Okay, I do, that's so. fair. Yeah, and I say thing with my memes. My memes are very funny. They can be, but they're not like. LGBT gay people should be and right, you know, I was like no right. I'm not saying nothing like that's, that's, I, and I've seen stuff like and that and you know but. what I feel like people need we I, we make light of topics but I feel like things are so tense and, and there's so much vitriol in the climate that people just need this it's refreshing I know to hear us like laugh and joke and make light of certain safe things space. we're not trying to do it to like you said harm anybody but I think it's a safe space and it just also makes light of like because when we all come go back in our bubbles it's depressing yeah. <laughs> at times so, yeah well like yeah. I said we said, we said this a few times on our show I believe it's like therapy is when you come here yeah, yeah, yeah I enjoy it totally. I enjoy it so I let's agree. get into these topics because we literally talked for about 20 it's minutes okay. let's People get like that. yeah so hopefully you guys enjoy this when we go off the cuff um, so here's the first topic um, Facebook is saying they will transform the way we exchange money they are releasing a cryptocurrency called Libra Oof. calling it a new global currency powered by blockchain technology and will launch in 2020 the goal is for Libra to become the first mainstream digital currency. The currency will be available for Messenger and WhatsApp users worldwide and will allow us uh, will allow users to send money to each other at a low at low to no cost. This will be different from current payment system through Facebook Messenger, as the user will tran- will be transferring a secure currency in real time instead of being instead of being processed through the banking system. Is Facebook becoming too big of a monopoly? They control Instagram, face, um, obviously Facebook, WhatsApp, and will now create currency. Is it time Is it time to break up the companies? This is definitely one of the scariest things I've ever heard. <laughs> really? Book on the show, definitely. The, did you hear about this before? Yeah, I heard about it. Okay. Yeah. 
Libra. I'm gonna buy some stocks in that. I don't know. I mean, I mean yes, yeah, buying stocks. Yeah, yeah, you make a little money. Where I recommend maybe looking and doing that. But at <laughs> but the end it, of the day, when Facebook takes well. over the world know. and they got you trapped in your house and you're like you can't leave, you know what I mean? And 1984 type stuff going yeah. on. Yeah. So they're, they're trying to take it there right now. I can see him doing so? it because Mark Zuckerberg's a robot. He's out. <laughs> he's, he's not even a real person. I still trying to debate if Mark Zuckerberg is a human so being. Sweet. He's like half I don't human, think he's half he's robot. Mean. You saw what he did to his friend? His, no. In the movie, you saw what he did oh, to his friend. Oh, yeah. He's like, oh, no. I think he comes off. Just no, he's a. Like, oh my god, like he I comes didn't... off like, I don't know. He's like, mean. What he did nah, to his he... friend, his Brazilian friend, I thought like, that was not in, the worst thing. He doesn't come off intimidating. Now you see his like... face and you see that, but that face is not real. It's like, it's like a baby face. He has a baby <laughs> yeah, face baby like face. us. Yes. We have baby faces. Yeah. Maybe that's maybe? what it is. Yeah, but but he's not. He's he's. What he did to if you yeah yeah I saw it. You know that's horrible. Yeah. So you guys don't feel like it's um. So you think that it's bad or do you think we should break them like do you think it's time to break these like big like uh, giant definitely. companies google amazon facebook I amazon I, it's getting out of control man even the this cell is, phone companies this is my take on it i'm very conflicted and that happens a lot on the show <laughs> <Always>. <laughs> for, for me no because i just know reality versus like you know other things and um so my problem with uh so I work in the banking industry, oh, yeah. right? So you really and I know for a fact, like I'm conflicted because whereas you need regulation and stuff because people do shady, grimy things. But basically, every time you overregulate a situ- like a, a business or an, you know an industry, you 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 basically stint the economic growth or the, the growth in any form in that industry. So I know for a fact, like regulating these companies, like I don't really see how that's going to be effective. But my also my my other thing is. You can't just break up these big companies. How do you change culture? Because think about it. Just th- let's hear me out. You have to think about the social cultural element of it. So we all use Facebook. We all use our iTunes, our a- Apple phones, and WhatsApp. Right. If you just have the government break up these companies, you have to p- change people's behaviors in wanting to use those products. Like, how do you shift that? No, you still use it. It's just that their ownership is different. It's like. It's broken up, so it's not just one company that runs everything. How would that work? I don't know. I don't know how it... I, don't, I think they did it with the um, oil company. I think we talked about that. The oil company um, did it back in the 1911, like... But um, that's... The, but I mean, that's, the gas company. Okay. And they... It was, like, one one gasoline, if you look into it, it's, like, the, uh, the standard. Um, there was one company that owned all of it, and I think um, Rockefeller mm-hmm. bought a lot of the... Sh- oh, yeah. And they had to break it. And then they created all these. Now we have all these gas, like we have mobile, we right, have, right. you know. Yeah, but that's um, what I'm saying. You have Chevron. different options. But if you're yeah. telling me, break up Facebook, but the consumer's not going to be changed. We still go to Facebook. We have no idea what's happening in corporate. Is that what you're saying? Because I'm, I'm assuming, like what you just said, where you break it up and now you have different different types of Facebooks. So you yep. have different types of, mm-hmm. no one's going to go switch over. going to be like, I've been using Facebook for 15, like whatever, uh, 10 years. Now you want me to go switch over to like whatever? Mm-hmm. It's like trying to get someone who uses an iPhone to just switch to Samsung. They're like, no, I can mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to have a Samsung and an iPhone and all these other different types of, no one's going to just do that. So it's like you have a monopoly, but you also have, it's ingrained in the culture Sheep. and the behaviors and you have to get people to want to completely change. Yeah. Like using Amazon, using Google, like we have Bing. Nobody went to Bing <laughs> because we like. Bing. But you know oh what I'm God. saying? You can't just like have a new option. It, so I don't really see. Bing how. was so bad. Like was that horrendous. was not well thought up. Huh? huh? Bing travel. Bing, oh, travel. Bing travel was nice. But okay, so I don't. I don't I think said, it's but. gonna work. Okay. But at the same time, well, my, my, my having monopoly is dangerous. Super dangerous. Yeah. yeah. And my and my fear also is if you look who controls the when it comes to currency right now, like the paper. Mm-hmm back currency that's like federal reserve banking is what pretty much controls that and that's not owned by um you know the united states so that's its own entity right and that's why we are 20 20 dollars 20 trillion dollars in debt and we're struggling with so much issues right now is because the feds have so much control over the situation when it comes to world economy and now when i saw why cryptocurrency started picking up i was like okay this is a good idea a way for us maybe to get away but from is it uh, I, and this is why I'm looking now. Like maybe it's it's not looking that way. Because well, did you guys? If you have you guys been paying attention to Bitcoin? 
happen. Mm-hmm. And it's too expensive. Because let like, me tell you, the last like, fourteen thousand or it something dropped down. It was literally within a day or two. It was like up four thousand, down four thousand. Like oh, it is so wow. volatile. Yeah, it is very volatile. So think about that. I like I think that's very dangerous. People. One thing about the people who uh, the people who are for I guess cryptocurrency, like the fact that there isn't this middleman or these heavily regulate regulated industry but at the same time it's like look at the volatility you can literally shift entire markets you can affect so many people's lives do we want that kind of instability and then that's why i'm saying that's what i'm saying i'm now i'm looking at it like it's this is could be very dangerous because now if we get away from the feds and we go to this cryptocurrency and you see how crazy it is Mm -hmm. you have social media places like facebook and those google people like that controlling it mm. then they're already you see they're always controlling they're already censoring i mean they censor conservatives all the time so i mean (laughs) I mean, for example, you know, me, Uh, you know, so it's like, it's, you know, I don't know what he's got controlling my money because if they control your money, they're going to control you. And that is going to be game over for society. Scary stuff. It's very scary. I don't want to say scary. I'll say interesting stuff. How about that? Yeah. (laughs) It's going to be very interesting. Interesting scare. Um, Okay. So let's get into this other topic. I thought this was cool or interesting. Um, I so, like your topics, by the way. I never, I never said that. Yeah. But Do you? Yeah. If it's, yeah, you're talking about a little topic, I'm like, well, that's so interesting. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I, last, I, getting these topics, it was a struggle. <laughs> I literally stayed up all night trying to figure them out. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, I kind of stopped and was doing other work, so. But it was like, this one, but I really like this topic. Okay. California is set to become the first state to officially ban hair discrimination of any kind, which will largely benefit people of color. California lawmakers at the state assembly recently passed the Crown Act, the official bill that will protect their hair. The Crown Act already passed through California state and now is headed to California Governor um, Gavin Newsom. This legislation was initially pro- um, proposed by California Senator Holly Mitchell. She's a Democrat, a black woman who understood the uh, importance of such a firm stance on constant discrimination hurled at black people due to their hair. Now, on the other side, or the on the other side of the country, in Shreveport, Louisiana, a city known for arresting African American boys for wearing sagging pants, the council voted six to one on Tuesday, June 11, to abolish a 2007 sagging pants law <laughs> that banned people this is this is get serious ban people from wearing pants below their waistline black men made up 96 percent of the 726 arrests crazy for sagging pants in shreveport since the law passed in 2007 according to shreveport police department data a total of 699 black men were arrested for sagging as compared to 12 12 white men who were arrested for sagging since the law passed more than a decade ago. Thoughts on the laws and how they have affect how they affect criminality of black people. We already had the hair ban law in New York City, didn't we? I'm pretty sure um, we I've passed. Been here for, I've been in New York for five years, so I might have missed that whole. No, but this I, I, just I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about. No, that. but I'm saying I think. But this is serious, guys. This is like, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I I I, I really felt. So this particular case in Shreveport is interesting because there was actually a 31-year-old man, Anthony Childs, who died in the um, in an officer-involved shooting in February. Mm -hmm. So that's what brought up brought upon the Mm -hmm. the um, ban of this law because for 10 years they were just like business almost 12 years business as usual keep arresting black people that's for insane. sagging their pants now i my, my, personally my, my, don't my, my, like my, my okay, question is this, this is my question is this, <laughs> is when they were arresting black people were they were were they just were they letting white people that are walking by with baggy pants on go by because i know there are white people out there wearing baggy saggy 12 jeans. 12 people 12 white people D- just 12 total and all that that's, time? What that's, that's it. according to their uh, and you know there's more to than what that on the street. At, but i'm saying no 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 but, this is according to the shreveport data this is this is the police the, the police department data mm-hmm. that they said that a total of 699 black men were arrested for sagging pants compared to the 12 white men that were arrested for sagging pants since the law passed Ten, a decade ago. Well, I think that's a problem with society more than it is a problem with the police force, in my opinion. Why Why do you have a bunch of grown men sagging their pants down all the time? That was the culture back then. It was the culture back then. And if 
That was pop culture. Yeah, but, I think that's changed. But, so but still, how probably... do you know? But how do you know somebody's wearing their pants? That's my own thing. Like, how does how's this law implemented? Because if somebody's like, now I think I know where they're going with this, and this is making sense to me now. Is you got these kids nowadays? I see walking around here in New York, especially with the skinny jeans on, and they got the pants, and they got their butt hanging out, and they got their shirt tucked into their underwear. Mm-hmm. So all you see is their underwear and. Uh, a, a pants hanging down with their butt hanging out that should be and to my opinion could be talked about this be against the law because you got kids sitting here seven six years old and you got a freaking 19 20 year old kid up to him with his crotch in his kid's face on a bus why is your pants that's why you have pants over your waist as an adult so you don't see people like i see your crotch that, everybody knows that it's common but that, sense to me that's so like and i know you say that style but when do you say okay it's what's this is my kid sitting right here you're a grown man with mm-hmm. his penis literally that close to my kid's face and that's disgusting this is what well, this well, is where conservatism but someone died though me. so let's let can yeah, you, I, I what know, do you I think know. about that like no. can we at least address the person mm-hmm. a person died so basically what happened is this 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 man this 31 year old man anthony charles was was sagging his pace his pants part of the style he was running away from the cops maybe whatever happened to him why i don't know why he didn't like just get arrested he ran away and the cops f- ran after them and obviously you know how it is mm-hmm. once you run i have to kill you like it's just part of the <laughs> police strategy you know nah, that you know what i mean level, mm-hmm. level. yeah that's a, that's not we don't we you know rest we don't peace. condemn none of that stuff yeah because the police are really getting outrageous mm-hmm. like it's just it's disgusting first of all so one we have a problem with the fact that it's a I agree with you with with a, being a grown man and wearing and having sagging pants. Like I think it's like I mean it was one thing we were we were doing when we were younger. We had bag t shirts to go with it. So you got baggy t shirts, baggy pants, you don't know my butt's in your face, technically. You just I mean, know I'm my sure pants. Oh, no, we did but that's still you would still no, we, you would have still gotten arrested. It's about not having okay. high waters was the key. That, okay. That's what the baggy pants oh. started. It was like you're not wearing high. When we sit down, your pants what? are still low. Oh, yeah. maybe. That yeah, probably definitely. Is the case. Yeah, I'm trust yeah, me, that was, was I, I don't know where it started. Hip hop. They said it was in jail. Because, because kids, it was like the nerdy thing back, a nerdy look was tucked in shirt with khakis up at your waistline. And when you sit down, your pants go, whoop, I'm Steve Urkel. That was a, your nerd. Maybe that's why. And now we got baggy pants on. Thing, you can you can said. sit down with your boys chilling. Now, Everybody's chilling. I'm, now they're getting too tight sometimes. And that's one thing. <laughs> now they're getting girl tight with the bagginess. So they're getting the girl tightness with the skinny jean with the baggy jeans. So now you got the girls. One thing when a girl wears tight clothes, now you got a guy wearing tight clothes <laughs> and his underwear showing. Mm. And people don't see that's a problem. But that's this is a problem. this is what confuses me about conservatism sometimes because I felt like I in one side. Sometimes on one end, you guys are like, this is my right. Don't take away my freedoms of talking this free to speech, free, right? And then another time, you're like trying to take, you know, you're controlling people's bodies. You're controlling. It's confusing right, to me. It's point. like, what? Where do you stand? Because right. if you want freedom, like, let it be free. You can't then over here tell the man, have some respect for yourself. But what's the point? Sh- of, no, let me, let me, I, let me, I agree. Listen, listen, what do you listen. think is the point of the law, though? What does the, what does the law do for people? What is that? Like, by you, how is that Obviously, a criminal? Obviously, they trying to... And they were trying to um, arrest black people because right. Just say I want to arrest black think, people. Don't just this sagging thing. But they were even probably dumber. trying to make an association with a, a particular look and maybe gang culture uh, or okay. gang activity. I mean, I don't know if that's. Well, what I, they they, were I wonder to if that statistic how many can, Hispanics today arrest. Can you respond? It's to in my... Shreveport. It's in a. It's in. It's in, New, it's in oh, Louisiana. New oh yeah, that's. I black, don't think black I think folks all day. Black, Do you yeah. mind responding to my? Okay. Well, yes, yeah, sure. About conservatism and like feeling like it's um, yes, hypocrisy I'm, yes, at I'm, times. I want to answer that question. The the reason why, in my opinion, is just very simple. Is look at it. It's about children are very important to it. Mm-hmm. So we're about yes, have your own rights, having your own freedoms. You know, don't let the government infiltrate what you have to do. Right. But have res- you know, you're, you're, the, the, but then we had the Christian values. So we got you know, mm. you get family, you mm-hmm. have kids, and the kids are born. You got to have respect, carry yourself a certain way. You got you've got kids around now. Mm-hmm. Like not so, have porn stars. Like, but as, why can't as, that Girlfriends, stay right? Yeah, you, know, you, you can do what you want but behind closed doors. So well, the kids, the kids can't see it. But why does that not stay as in just instill a value in someone versus have the government implement something or control something? That's something that you can debate. That's something we can do, and that's what I say about me as a black man. Mm-hmm. I say that we as a community need to step up, and mm-hmm. we should have took care of that before it even became a problem. Why are we letting our young youth males with the underwear hanging out as adults? That's I don't care. You can say, Yo, Chris, it's a style, Chris. Yo, it's just you know, New York is Brooklyn. I don't, I don't want to hear that. You're a grown man with your underwear hanging out. There's no and black men. When I was growing up, 
And when I was younger, there was grown black men around me that was, they would be the first one to check you some nonsense like that in mm-hmm. a heartbeat. But since there's lack of black men nowadays, there's lack of checking. Lack of checking leads to grown men with skinny jeans on with the butt hanging out. Mm. And that is a so problem. I, 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 th- I agree with, I hear you there. And I was also going to say one other thing that we might not have, we might not, we're, we're not, we're missing, I guess, is, um, or we're not talking about, um, the fact that they, they ban these laws, right? So mm-hmm. these are two examples of laws that are so discriminate, like they discriminate against black people, mm-hmm. like period. Like yep. this is a, this clear is, shot. you can, this is a clear shot, like <laughs> the hair for black women, mm-hmm. right? And then you have, and that's- You're and, saying that discriminate against black people? Yeah, because, okay, so- with the hair one, I'm yeah, the about. hair one because I can't. Like, if I have braids in my hair, the hair one is good. No, no, I know, but oh, okay. what I'm saying is this: the fact that they had to create a law, right, right. right. Do you understand? Yeah. Because otherwise, people would just discriminate against. Oh, okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Is that am I making sense? Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. I might have. Maybe I might have intertwined that. But. Yeah, and, and, but I. But that didn't, and it, that's why I say it says more. About, I says when you said when you just start about talking about this, I said it's more about society than it is about the government. In my opinion, in both cases, because you could you could uh, you could easily say if I were. You, if some conservatives would say, well, time to start cutting your dreads or time to start pulling up your pants. And it's like, no, yeah, because, why can't because, these people express themselves how they express themselves? So no me, one's coming up to a white person saying, stop wearing your, your khakis. Like, so let me or what, I'm sorry. Question. That's, uh, I don't but, know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> or but, stop drinking beer. Like whatever the things that people, that white people like to do, no one's coming up to them and saying, Hey, stop doing that. Why not, is it that black racist. people, can't have braids or dreads and get a job and yeah. still be an attorney yeah or and still have a, 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 a be able to no yeah I agree. or, or no. why do i if, if 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 for some reason right i i'm a male who likes to have my pants sagging and that's my style and i like that's just how it is in my my area where we live what and i'm in college i'm doing the right thing why do i need to be arrested mm-hmm. like it doesn't make any sense um, when it comes to the hair, I see. Hmm. I have that, a, when it comes to, because I'm a person that says, look, when it comes to work, if you can do the job, you can do the job. That's yeah. why I always looked at it. It includes in sales. I mean, and that's my thing. If I so was, you wouldn't discriminate on someone that had dreads that came into. But you, what? what no, it, if I saw somebody came in with dreads, I would think, okay, this is this could this could be a problem when it comes to wow. sales because it's sales because it's, it's sales I'm talking okay. about here because I'm thinking about some old ninety five year old white woman comes in here, okay, and she sees first person comes is, is a six foot two black dude with these long braids. Uh-huh. She's gonna be like, oh my gosh, she's from the Amazon. He's gonna come oh, and she's gonna Lord. be in that kind of yes, she is. Yeah. But old people like that think like that. But that's so, that's why we had to break. She, the, that's, that's why we're breaking these things. Change it up because you honestly. We have to con- they, these people. We have to be confronted by. Real but I was life. about to say though, real quick before. Oh, sorry, I, sorry, sorry. Go I, ahead. But I would say if, but if I spoke with the young man, he was, and I felt like, yo, this kid is. He's he has what he ha- takes. He has what it takes. I would give him the opportunity and to see how he does. And if he could sell, he can sell. If he still struggled, and I saw, you know, he has ability. He's doing everything right. It's just the look is getting him. Then that, I will give him the option. Hey, man, look, I give you the opportunity. Numbers aren't coming in. You're doing the right things, but I'm telling you, it's your hair. Cut his hair. You cut your hair. You would have him cut his hair. I have a question. I would have. I would. I would have him say this, but I'm saying your numbers are struggling because of numbers. I work in. I I was thinking about this law. Like I work in um, corporate banking, right? Okay. I mean, banking industry. So imagine, like, shout out to my bank. Yeah. (laughs) Imagine, (laughs) like, in a major like deal or a really important. You have a client, and Mm -hmm. you're in a meeting, and you have your team, and then one of them rolls in with like rainbow spiked hair. Mm-hmm. Can you tell this person, you know what? That's a bit much. Mm, now point. I know the point, point of the law. I know the Look point at of the you. I'm just Look saying. At you. No, 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 no. wild card. Yeah. The, no, I, I, this law is really good. The hair one is really going to understand it because, okay. like, I know even like now I have friends like will come in with like braids or you know when they do the fall the fall lo- locks and like just or natural natural afros and i just love seeing that now in in the in the workplace like women are feeling comfortable doing that but there was a time when they didn't and it made them you know feel like okay i'm uncomfortable or people would make comments or want to touch the hair but whatever so i there's clear discrimination but then when i saw the law i wondered to myself like would this open it up to like people doing too much and then you're like okay we didn't mean that like we meant be your natural stuff, self yeah. we didn't mean like like, go do spiked rainbow hair. Like, where does the line draw? So, I, I think it's a really good law, but, like, I just wonder how it will pan out for people starting to claim, like, everything is a discrimination. Okay, okay. That's a way to look at it. 
very good Democratic the wild card. You like flipped it on me. I never would have. I didn't even think of that. She threw that one out there. I know. I didn't. Hot, oof, that's how she it. is. I don't know. She always <laughs> finds a way. So, all right. Well, that's 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 a that was a good take on it. I mean, I, I think um, for me, I just I just felt like it was just like clearly against yeah. people of color and, but and me, but she brought but, in a but, good example because it could also be a white person if you come a white person that comes in with like bald head with like little colors and th- like we would be like whoa and, and, um, and, you're and, my doctor and, like and, you know and, and, like, and, 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 and seriously I'm glad you did that because I as a black man was looking at as a black man's perspective when I go out in the streets when I see this from young black men I, I kind of get this so when they say oh this white people are being racist when they're against this I'm like no I'm a grown black man I don't want to see it mm-hmm. so I know there's white people that think the same way when you see somebody with the crazy spiked rainbow hair they would be like no you're just crazy crazy hair right now yeah. it's not about your you know who you are because i'm white too but so yeah great great I'm glad you brought that up right thank right. you yes very good top hey guys kirsten here with a special message for our listeners i wanted to thank you for listening to politics podcast and wanted to share an exciting offer to entrepreneurs and supporters we are now offering businesses the opportunity to be advertised on our show during this mid roll. If you're interested, please email hellopoliticspodcast.com. We are also taking support from our listeners through the Anchor app. Just click support this podcast and you can give whatever you want. The funding is helpful to us to increase our production, add video, and start marketing and advertising for our podcast. We appreciate you and please continue to listen to the show. Um, so... AOC tweeted last week, um, we called the con- the concentration camps at the border for what they are. Um, in a week since acting, um, since at, since acting director of customs and border patrol resigned, Bank of Bank of America announced they will stop financing for profit immigrant detention and private prisons. Um, is calling the border concentra- uh, the the border the concentration camps an accurate depiction of what? is happening no anymore. no 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 that is so that's the dis- most disrespectful thing you can do to the jewish community how dare she compare something to the border to a concentration camps where are the gas chambers who's getting thrown in a pit with a bunch of dead bodies and getting thrown dirt on top of them and saying oh who cares you know unnamed who's getting tattoos of numbers on her wrist yeah to, to show who they are i mean does she she is all about pandering she's all about Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! She's about publicity, yeah. good or bad. Let me get it. And this is yeah. I was. I, I kind of have to say with. I have to agree with you. I didn't like the fact that she called it a concentration camp. I think we have to be respectful to the people. Like, pe- like a millions of like. Is it a million of people? I think. Yeah. Was mil- it millions mil- of people? Millions, millions of people. Did that pass? That was it. Billions of people. Was it um, millions? In, I'm pretty sure it was. Max for concentration camps. Millions of people that died in concentration camps. In the Holocaust? 11 million people 11 died. million. Okay. I don't know if it was in the camps, but all together, all I think together. it was about 11 yeah. million. Okay, so for you to use that and say that it's the same thing, that was... She has some... That's Don't do that. Don't even do that. Don't do... It's don't horrible do what's happening in the border because people are separated. And it is a, like a, some... It's more of like an internment camp, like how... Like with the Japanese community that was in California. Yes. But you calling it a concentration camp is like... You're almost like... You're disrespecting the people who died. And they're still alive. Some of the people are still alive. Right. They're still alive. Are they still yeah, living? I mean, yeah. yeah. They, they're, they're, of course, they were the younger, younger kids, yeah, like yeah. two, three years old when okay. they were there. But yeah, yeah there's there's a few that are still horrible. alive. Man. I, I wasn't and, happy with that. I, I did a video on my YouTube channel, and I recommend people check it out, by the way, conservative in New York. Take a look at that video I did on the subject. And I use an example, and this is a true story, when I was in middle school, sixth grade, and, and these there were these tours that went around, and this lady was on a tour kind of, of a Holocaust survivor and like kind of tour. And she came to these schools and she would just tell her story about when she was a kid going through the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. And when she came to our school, like it was like a lunchroom kind of setting that they, you know, they had us, she come to speak to us and it was like during school hours. So when they took us out of class to go to a lunchroom and like sit there, we were of course making a bunch of noise. We were acting, you know, we're kids. We were Mm -hmm. just being crazy. She walked in I never forget it. When she walked in and, and she started talking and she showed her tattoo she had on her wrist still to this day and all this stuff. She silenced the whole entire room of kids and she told her story mm-hmm. and we were like at the end like, what did we just hear? Mm. And she just like, we were, and I, from that, she I was never a survivor. Forget, definitely. And I never forget wow. that, to that to this day. Mm-mm. So when I hear people saying, you're a Nazi and you're a... I'm yeah, like, we have to be careful what we say. We really do. And it's not because like... I get her message. I get what she was trying to do because 
it is. We can't. Your we can't discount. Better, you just made them. What, your, what you did with the training camps with the, the, Japan, the interim, that, yeah, that, that, yeah. The training camps, yeah. That, yeah. That, could even I don't That's agree with more, that because that was bad too. That was. That was bad. That it was wasn't bad. as bad as the border, but from the book that I read, I can't remember the name of the book. It was such a great book that yeah. people should read on the. I know what you're talking about. You know what book? We had to read it in our in our in like like high school. Okay, so you know, I I honestly. I honestly feel like she it was a misstep on her and I think she kind of like tried to clean it up. She still didn't apologize, but she cleaned it up a little bit saying I meant like the concentration of people like oh. she was trying to say and I'm like lady Shut and then up. they even asked her about like Obama like was this a constant like was would you consider this the same thing when Obama was in uh, elected when he was um his mm. immigration policies and she was like well I, I didn't agree with the immigration policies when when Obama was there and I'm like and she, she has to I, I think she has to be she's, careful she's just because I'm keeping I, that foot further and further Yeah, mouth, I think she man. has to be very careful because you're ice you're going on an island right Mm -hmm. and you've got to like you can't forget that we still have elections we still have like you can't as much as we want to be like the mavericks you still need to you know like we're we're a team you know what i mean like you going against everything and being wild she took in front of the border the whole dramatic with the all white on yeah yeah yeah. and she had oh not to mention her watch was about six grand oh she had on by the way in that picture that chanel watch she had on (laughs) for those out there uh and but when they paul just watson who's a guy a youtuber a conservative who i follow he got images of the whole entire photo and she was in front of an empty parking lot like, like not empty. that a few cars there. I'm sorry, it was a few cars. But she did that in the park a lot, and like she could have been in Utah and did that. And right. I'm like, and you, come on. So everything she does, I'm like, and I see her, and I'm like, she's either really, really stupid, really mm-hmm. stupid, mm-hmm. and this is possibility, <laughs> uh, or she, it's. I, but I think what it is not that she's that stupid. She's a person that says she's narcissistic. Mm. Any publicity is good publicity. If I just go out there. And we go out there and make these images of me being all dramatic in front of an empty parking lot in the fence. Mm -hmm. And that's going to get a lot of people's attention because of, you know, oh, it's Trump and AOC, da, da, da. But then when they find out that it was me just trolling and just doing it in front of a parking lot, then I'm going to be mean to death. And they're going to put memes of me everywhere. And I'm going to be people talking about me in videos and making fun of me. So I'm always out there being spoken by people on the right and the left. Everybody's speaking about me. Right. Because she wants to just be out there. That's what's important is getting the publicity. Yeah, I don't know, Max. Do you have anything to? Un- what did you think about the <laughs> the fact that this? She calls it a concentration camp. Um, I, I I think it was a bit extreme, and probably a bit offensive to anybody who was going through that or has family who's who's gone through the concentra- concentration camp because their intention for the concentration camp was to kill people, mm-hmm. and um. While I don't agree with the detention camps or whatever they're called, yeah. um, the intention is not to kill people. It's just to r- round up maybe, I guess, illegals and yeah, figure de- out... Detention centers. Detention centers and figure out what to do with them in the meantime while they're like investigating or sorting it out. So I yeah, think that the, the comparison system. between that and a, a place where people were intended to go to die and be murdered yeah. was probably a little bit insensitive. And right. So, yeah, but it, but it, I'm it, not putting light on what they're doing down there. I mean, I don't agree with it. I think it's terrible, but I'm just saying, I don't... But they're getting food and water down there. They're I think she's just sometimes... You know, healthcare? Yeah, they're getting, they're getting healthcare systems. Next topic. Not, not, I mean, the kids are <laughs> in <laughs> cages. <laughs> healthcare? They're, they're, they're next, not going to get plastic surgery or anything down there. I mean, I mean but oh some, kids have, some kids have died. Yeah. Some yeah, kids are in cages. Some kids are being not... like. Sexually fed, harassed. sexually harassed. Like there's some really yeah, terrible, it's some scary stuff. I happening. think that she could have made her point just a different wording. But sometimes it's just shock value that makes people. In- yeah, care. but you don't you don't discriminate so. against another group to just make yeah. a point. You say, okay, well, I'm going to help this group out by discriminating this other group. Like, no, you don't discriminate no groups. How about that? So, so let me get to the, our our final our final topic. Um, why is why is it in the um, environment constantly downplayed in the ur- why is the environment constantly downplayed in the urban communities when it affects people of color? I want to say like a lot more than we think. So when you think about like the Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico, Katrina Hurricane which devastated New Orleans, Sandy Hurricane that flooded NYC in New Jersey, the earthquake in Haiti, or just the contaminated water in Flint, Michigan. Advocacy yeah, you, you, about you. protecting communities of color are rarely called environmentalism because those communities are still largely not considered places worthy to, of protection by event, environmentalists. 
Does the environment need to become a more prominent platform for people of color considering when voting for the next president and all local officials? Maxine, do you want to shed light? Um, sorry, I was just looking into this. Um, yeah, I mean, where, but where has it been, uh, where has there been a natural disaster in a non urban environment that was taken seriously? I just think we suck at this altogether. But why aren't we paying attention then? Why isn't this not like some of the well, main well, well, points for people? I don't, talk? first of all, um, I guess you, what administration are you concerned about? Because obviously the one we live, that we're under now, um, there's climate deniers. So they're not taking this seriously in general. But I mean, people, of, like, why aren't people of color making this more of like a issue? Like, why aren't we not demanding? Because hey, like, it's not there. They have other issues. They have work. They have, you know, putting food on the table. They have more pressing needs, I you know, guess. You know who's putting the best effort to help the black community be, like, I'm not saying that's necessarily like where I stand personally as i know oh, climate 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 um is you know you got you got uh you got to put it into in my opinion if you want to reach the black community you got to get in the entertainment industry mm-hmm. and uh i think you know there's a rapper what's his little dicky I mean, <laughs> that song earth or whatever that's right. like getting oh those. yeah 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 the earth song uh-huh their song and, and, and i heard it and it's catchy but it's annoying at the same time so right. it's not i'm definitely not going to keep listening to it but Right. It, 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 but it has a lot of celebrities in there and you know Justin Bieber yep and you know of all races there and doing their little cameos so that's technically how you do it but mm-hmm. I'm not going to be the one to give you the formula because I like you know you know you're not a kingdom oh head. you mean like put the put the medicine in the in like the in the yeah what's that sugar thing? Yes. no medicine in your I don't know what the actual saying is yeah I know what but you're basically about. like water down like maybe water down your wine or something i don't know yeah just basically you know who did that very well way before little dicky nas uh well i'm glad you said that. i know he, i he, can he, not, yeah nas he did i feel it. like he, he he did uh now i'm trying to think of an earth zone nas did though nas did, did, not, did nas just the he always used to talk about pharaohs and stuff yeah like yeah he, he, he talks he, about the history of the, he the history <laughs> but who who are you gonna say that did it better uh michael jackson man michael jackson michael which jackson. song uh he did the earth song Oh yeah 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 yeah. So he oh, d- what about yeah yeah uh, yeah and, you know and, and uh, um and um look man in the mirror had a lot of that earthly feel to it like looking at all those <laughs> earth yeah yeah, yeah and it's yeah. like the India and all that stuff like that so you gotta you, that's how you do it and Mike was very good at doing it you saw how the new media treated him but. right I mean I I think that's that's the thing it's like w- for us we're like we're so focused like like um what um Maxine was saying it's like jobs and and oh putting food on the table and my community but we're forgetting that like the environment is also really important like that affects your breathing that affects the fact that you know if you have if your son has asthma your daughter has asthma because of you know the pollution oh, yeah, I don't like know these, if you guys have been hearing my cough in the background here and that's yeah that is, and i didn't know what it was because I, I tell i've been telling people that are new yorkers so like i don't got it my throat doesn't hurt my uh-huh. ch- i don't got my, i don't know how to feel sick my chest right. no, nowhere to, i don't feel sick at all right I, I can run two miles right now and they're just like you're the way i mean they heard me cough and they're like you know what that is i'm like what and they're like what? it's a smog man it's in new york you know all really? the smog from the train and the mm-hmm. cars and the traffic and you know cigarette smokes and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. so I'm like oh man and it just gave me this cough that I mean, it's starting to go away now but it's just like ugh it's but just, what but do you feel like your the the party that you support is doing enough to like um I mean, help the the climate uh I mean, no, no, of course not. Uh, they're not, and I'm not even personally saying like, you know, we need to put our focus mainly on the environment. Tell you the truth, mm-hmm. and not because I don't care about the earth. I love the earth. Yeah, I don't God, mean it's the main. God created an amazing place here on mm-hmm. earth. But my thing is, if we're going to really seriously talk about climate change, we have to go to China first okay. and say, y'all got to check yourself, man, because I mean, there are people walk around mask on, and they got factories literally built every chance they can. And they're all because all they worry about is China, and you know, not to be you know, economy. Uh, it's economy, money, 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 uh-uh. money, money. Well, like, and they and they got people. There are people living like drawers, and they pull out a drawer like there's a family. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, because the house, everything's so close and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, so many houses, like right next to each other. It's like the, they are overpopulated. Like, it's just it's, yeah. And people want to say America's a problem, America, because we're the we're the cool nation. Well, Everybody I think we we, we, we don't America. Oh, you know? Yeah, but don't you think that we're like the ones that like are the 
it's almost like we're the older brother that needs to like show an example for the rest of your, but, our but, siblings. But in, but in terms of history, we're the baby. We are. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's the thing. So we need our older brothers and sisters to act like they got some sense. So then the baby can maybe start to blossom himself. So, you know, it's like... The, that's Just because a baby is doing well in life doesn't mean that, like, you yeah, know, like... You know, he, yeah, I mean, your older brother still, older sister yeah, still. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, true. That's a good point. I and, mean, and I, China's I agree China's a you. perfect example of that because they're actually doing very well economy-wise. So yeah. you guys have the money to do. So you're not like, you know, a poor, poor continent here. Yeah. You guys got some good money, too, in your pocket. Use that instead of building another factory. Give a big home for people, like, with green energy or something. Yeah. But they don't. They want to conquer us. Chinese want to beat us. They're right. focused on, we got to beat America. Yeah. We must beat America. And it's like, that's all. That's all they care about. Uh, and so I, I see this. And that's why when people say, you guys, we need to focus on climate change, bro, and just be a pe-. Like, yeah, we go peaceful, and they're going to conquer us. I know, but we also, I just, I get what you're saying about China, but we also have to think about our economy. I mean, our, I'm sorry, our, our country. And we, as living inhabitants of the, this, this I, I, country, I, I, I agree to that and for our people, and for your cough, you know what I mean? Yep. It has to, we've got to do something for ourselves. Like, forget China. I get China's messed up, but I live in U.S. I live in New York City. I need to make sure that I can breathe, clean air. You know, I have many, I have more trees, you know, planted. Sometimes I just like to walk around Central Park just so I can get, feel like I'm, you know, inhaling some good oxygen. I don't even know if it's any better than living. <laughs> it's they're probably they're the same thing. Station, right? right, right, right. Same get thing. it right, right. Same thing. <laughs> but the point is, it's like, you know, like, you know, some places where you go, like, I think in Denver, like, the, when you breathe, it's like a little bit more, um, uh, like it's just higher in yeah, the mountains. Yeah, higher altitude. Yeah, so you got less of the pollution. Yeah, so it's so there's just oh, I love some that people. Feeling. Know some that people have that fresh air. right. I, I go out when I go out. I go, you know, I travel. You know, or like upstate New York upstate or something. New York or something like that. You know, when you walk out and you get that, like you know, this nice day outside. Right, like, or even Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Not not not, not, not springtime now. Don't give me don't give me too oh much. My God, oh the my worst. gosh, it's like a cake of pollen in the springtime. But when you're not in springtime Georgia, mm-hmm. it's just like I, I like I'm saying. That's why that's the conversation it's a topic that i'm a little i'm more moderate with as a conservative myself i'm not a person that's like we don't got time for the earth yeah 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 you know because how can i be a part of the party that says conservative ideology because christian is big part of conservative ideology right i can be a christian and not want to protect the earth right that's one of god's greatest creations good point so i I do think god created this earth and just like he created the human body when we pollute our body it destroys our body right if we pollute the earth i know it's destroying the earth and and how about the animals like the animals animals that are dying off that are endangered or the birds dropping out of the sky or the fish fish or the um the whales that have like plastic in them Mm, you know what i mean that have eaten plastic they say like catfish like i just saw a video on like on catfish like a not the the catfish the show or (laughs) the actual dating but catfish the actual fish that they can eat like um aluminum like they can eat like a a soda can so that's so technically soda cans are dropped in the water they can eat that so we could be eating you know what i mean like my dad my dad was just made made me think of like i grew up in a sunday Adventist church so there's no pork in our house and no shrimps and no oh no definitely no catfish okay and it's and it's crazy that you know it's this this animal my dad told me like it's such dangerous because what it eats it can eat anything oh so you cans i'm like whoa so this is really oh no they showed that video i was so i was like like, what the Dang. hell? I've only had catfish maybe four times in my life. It's not a, a fish that I've ever had. Like, so I had, I think I had that when I was in LA this past, and everyone was like, oh, try the catfish here. Mm. I was like, okay, I'll try it. I never, I've never had, so I'm never going to have that again because I didn't know, I didn't know anything yeah, about it. Like, it's like the pig of the ocean. The oh my God. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm so mad that I had that. <laughs> I'm so mad. No, I'm serious. No, 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 no. I didn't know that. I yeah. had no idea. Definitely. So I, I, huh. I got it. My first fish I ever caught was a catfish. It was a big one. Too. And it's big, right? Oh yeah. And when I got, it, I was Scary. like, you know, we're gonna have some something to eat, Dad. Like, you know, he's like, no. He's like, throw that thing back. Like, you know, he's like, maybe you can keep it as a pet or something, but we're not gonna eat it. He's like, damn, he told me a pet. <laughs> like, I did. I had it in a bucket for like about four days. And it, it was died. dead though, right? Like, I, but I, I, it died. But I was just throwing anything in there. He'll eat it. So I would throw chips in there. I would throw. Uh, you know, like, oh. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, it has like big teeth. So that's the thing. That's probably why people see. Now the thing is, it's isn't that like a. Isn't that what like I hate to, like soul food? Isn't that like something catfish? Of course, fried? so is pork. So is with pork, right. with, with pork intestines, with, right? Uh, chitlins and all right. That. Well, this is the thing. The case. This is the problem with pe- Like this is the problem with us. And thankfully now, and I think the the next in the next f- couple Generation. episodes, okay. I'm gonna have a, uh, a vegan on. 
on our show so they can talk about like like the new vegan um just different ways to you know take care of ourselves and you know maybe having like i'm trying to get into a position where i can start doing like at least eating vegan like four days out the week yeah. you know what i mean i'll tell you what man since i changed my diet did intermittent fasting mm-hmm. combined with i only eat any kind of meat only for dinner so I just that means I eat two meals a day. I eat a good a good lunch. And my lunch is celery, hummus, uh, like broccoli, cauliflower, mm-hmm. berries, and a bunch of water. I drink a whole lot of water. Yeah. Since I've been doing that, man, like my my blood you, pressure is just naturally like bringing down. Just, I don't gotta do run anymore if I don't want to. I run still, but right. I notice when I go like right before I, when I start doing it when it was still cold outside and I wasn't running at all. Mm-hmm. I, I told you guys even back then I was like my blood pressure just stays low. Yeah, now. and you you look like you lost a little bit of weight too. Yeah, yeah. it's like a natural and it feels yeah, good. You got, it feels I get natural good. energy in the morning. Yeah, like it's like wow. Yeah, I got to get with like that. I'm definitely I'm definitely working towards that and hopefully I can get a vegan that can talk to us a little bit more because that that right there kind of scares me because a this is when you think about like catfish being because we i was at a soul food restaurant mm-hmm. and in la True. and they that was like the, the thing oh you have to try it's really Georgia's good the same way yeah catfish everywhere in Georgia. right so but when you think about that then i and then afterwards i saw the video maybe like a, a couple of days ago and i was like wait catfish is i'm like what i'm oh my god that catfish probably ate like everything in the sea like <laughs> gross uh, you know what uh-huh. i mean but it's like that's the thing like we mean the pig and and unfortunately people of color back in the slavery time they ate what they could what they got they, the scraps they really throw them the scraps the scraps like oh we don't want this you could have this because yep. you're gonna you know so they created this really delicious thing let's fry it and make this really good meal but it's horrible for people for us you know it is. you know and and who knows what kind of like um diseases and stuff that oh, have goodness. you know what i mean, I mean the about, after I mean, effects rac- they say raccoons can kill cows and you say how's that possible because what? A, ra- a raccoon can kill a cow how and that's why i said to this person told me that and he said well and this guy was this kid this kid's a texan from the south you mm-hmm. know he'd accent you know like he'd live off the land if he had to mm-hmm. he said because raccoons when they get on the land and they defecate when uh you know could think about when a cat, raccoon defecates it has eaten anything it could find it's eating you know trash you know mm-hmm. poisons you know rats whatever if it, it mm. finds so when it defecates mm. and it has all this infection and all this disease and mm-hmm. everything in that defecation and cows and pigs they'll come by and just you know eat what's there you know oh, so when they eat that it drop they drop dead because their bodies are so the camp uh detaminated by oh the toxins. my god okay we it gotta stop them. that's so. gonna we're gonna i'm gonna be gross stop and uh, yeah. you literally might have stopped me from eating meat and pork because <laughs> like i mean and i you know i had my, this, my dad told me this that when we show were kids all the time really you know, see we didn't eat shrimp i love i, I eat shrimp that's one i can't give a shrimp is hard shrimp is shrimp hard is, too shrimp is very shrimp, i see i'm i think it's just time to like we're adults we could we could just let it go say no because think about it. We're like, I don't want that in me anymore. Like, those are just things that are just too gross. Yeah, because when you're a kid, you're more like, oh, this tastes good. Mm-hmm, but when now it's down, like, looking, like, oh my gosh, I, I put that in my body? Yeah. Like, like, and, it, and it put that in its body? Like, Yeah, it's too When I saw that catfish thing, I was like, whoa, that is worse than being on a crazy date. Like, on a, on a catfish <laughs> date. Oh my God. All right, we're going to end it here. Um, uh, we're going to end right here. Thank you all for listening to the Politrix podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, please hit like, um, hit subscribe, and leave a comment. Let us know what topics you want to hear us talk about next. You can also email us at hello at politrixpodcast.com. Um, and I'm Kirsten J on Instagram. Conservative in New York on Instagram. And- Oh, real quick though, and shout out to all my Texans out there. I know I had to talk about Texas. Yeah, so man, Lone so Star State. Yeah, thanks guys for listening to us. We we really appreciate you guys. Continue sharing it because we're you know we're enjoying this. We're enjoying doing this, so I'm glad that you guys are enjoying us. Um, any other things? Anything else you want to plug? Um, that's uh, conservative in New York. Check me out on YouTube, guys. If you want to see that Chandler Crump. Uh, interview I mentioned earlier. Yeah, and then Maxine just had to head out, so she couldn't she couldn't say goodbye. But um, she's Maxine dot Otterbridge on Instagram. So um, thanks everyone. Have a great week. Bye.